Hi everyone, and welcome back to another entry in my junk journal. You know, the more I use this book, the more I love, love, love it. I don't know, it's like become an extension of who I am. Um, I don't know if I showed you this, but Turner, my grandson, made me a little pocket for the uh, cover of my book to stuff little things in. I thought that was so cute and so thoughtful. So anyway, today let me find a page that I am going to work on. I think I will just create a page somewhere in here so I don't get too ahead of myself. So I might work on the back of this one because Oh, you can't even see. On the back of this one, because it's already firm, and it will be able to take paint. So, I might be twisting the book and turning the book a little bit, but uh, that's okay. So, um, as always, you guys know I have a story. And before I get started with my story, I want to take this time to thank so many of you that have sent me private emails, of um, your struggles and that how some of my videos have helped you it just it's just to me amazing that something that I could do in my little menial world could help somebody else and it just goes to speaks to the thing of sharing because we really are all living the same kind of lives, just in a different body and different location. But it all kind of boils down to the same thing. Whether we're rich or poor or middle class, we all have the same struggles. And um, if I could help anybody in any way at all, I just feel so honored and um, very thankful. And um, I really appreciate the messages that I've received. So, thank you so much and keep them coming. Just makes my day. So, I've just basically roughly painted the back of this page with uh, some folk art acrylic paint. And this color is blue. Oh, that's French. And that's Spanish. Hmm. Bleu Rivage and Ozel Castero. So, I don't, it's coastal blue. There we go. <laughs> so, um, it's kind of like a, a little bit darker than a sky blue. I'm going to take some white paint, and uh, I've just got a piece of uh, plastic packaging, and I just want to create some clouds on the back of this page, or on the top of this page. I just applied some white on the back of an empty packaging the cellophane, so I just want to kind of create some kind of clouds. You could use anything, I guess. You could have, I could have used um, paper towel, anything. Just trying to create sort of random clouds in the sky. So I guess I should get to the topic at hand. Today I'm going to talk about surrendering. And um, this came to me the other day. You know, sometimes things are so obvious. It's almost like you have to hit on the head with a hammer to be reminded of them. But that's exactly how this was for and me. I'm just going to put this aside to dry while I chat. And I'm going to work on um, using some foam letters here that spell out surrender. I like using random letters from random sets because then you get the coolest looking um, words. I picked up this uh, tape at the dollar store because it's that athletic tape. And um, I thought it'd be great to stamp letters on it because it's almost like paper. It's really cool. But to keep the tackiness, I wanted to put it on the craft mat so that it stayed didn't lose its tackiness on the bottom. So I'll roll out more if I need more. So yes, um, as I was saying about surrender. The other day, as some of you know, I um, have lupus. And I'm not trying to make this into a poor me, I have lupus video. That is not at all what this is about. And it will all make sense in a second. One thing that I take from medication that really, really helps me. 
uh, so that I can live a relatively kind of normalish life, I go and get injections once a month. And they really, really, really do help. The only time I have real problem with them is when they, um, it's kind of like on the cusp, when the old injection is going out of my system and the new one's coming in. So just kind of at that bridge where one hasn't quite caught up to the other one yet, if that makes sense. And so my body gets really, really, really tired. I know I'm a little off camera over here, but I've, you can see, there, there's the sir. There we go. And so, um, I mean, really tired. It's like, oh, nothing you can do. You just are so tired. But this happened on, I think I got the shot on Thursday. So on Saturday morning, I had all these plans I wanted to do, all these things I had to do, going shopping. My mom was staying over. We just had all these plans, and I really wanted to do them. So I would get out of bed, and then I would sit up at about 10 in the morning, and then my body would go, no, and I'd crash back down to bed. So as I'm laying in the bed, I'm like, oh, really getting angry, and like, oh, I want to get up, I want to get up, I want to get up. And then I, it just dawned on me, what is it that I always say to the women I support during labor? I always tell them to surrender to the process, let your body do what it needs to do, and that's it. So I thought, okay, Monica, just surrender. You'll get up soon enough. Well, so I did. So I just kind of laid there. 2 p.m., finally got up. But boy, did I ever feel better. And I realized in that that um, half of the struggle with, with that is the conflict of trying to fight the process, trying to fight what needs to happen. And so I thought that happened so many times to us, not just with, it. for me at that point, it was a medical thing or a physical thing, but it happens to us in so many different situations. I know when my kids were younger, I used to tell them, if you have to force something, if you have to force it, it's just like when you're trying to open something or trying to, someone says, oh, let me do it, I can I can force it open, and it always breaks. If you have to force something, then it wasn't. it's not right. You need to just kind of let it go. And that's the same as surrendering. You could be in a conflict with somebody at work, and you know you're right, and they believe they're right, and all you guys are doing is arguing back and forth and back and forth. You know what? Just surrender. Let it go. The struggle, it's not worth it. It's just so not worth it. Whether you're struggling with somebody, with some thoughts, with a physical thing, let it be. Just surrender. So I thought that was a perfect message for my art journal page today. Let the universe unfold the way it's supposed to unfold. You're just getting kind of in the way when you are struggling and struggling, and sometimes things are just such a huge struggle. And the minute you let it go, it just works out the way it's supposed to anyway, probably the way it was going to anyway. So, yeah, just surrender. So, on this page, I'm going to uh, have a few hot air balloons because I sort of, in my mind, when I think of surrender, I think um, just kind of free float and let the winds take you where you need to go, kind of. And I don't know why hot air ballooning came into my head, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm using this Stampin' Up! set. This is the one where, you know, there's those little, um, you get those little plastic cups and then you can put them on top and fill them with candies and stuff. So I just wanted to use the hot air balloon base for this page. That looks really pretty. It's very nice and bright and happy. Okay, what I did here, I used this punch. I think it's two inches. This one is so old and it doesn't say what size it is, but I'm almost positive it's a two inch circle punch. Fits perfect as a little balloon on there. Love it. 
I'm just going to ink around it a little bit with this black ink so it pops on the page. There. I've also told my uh, children that when they were growing up, if, you know, you will know you're on the right path or your life's journey when things just sort of fall into place. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. You will know. Like, if it is, if you have to force it and push it and force it till it breaks, then you should have surrendered a long, long time ago. What I'm using here is these Delusions uh, stamps. I used one in the last the same ones by Diane Reaverly. Love them. So I'm just using this little black and white. I want to make a border all around the page, so I thought it would be good for that. But if you're having a relationship with a friend or a co-worker, and it's just such a, an effort, you know, you think, oh, I should phone her, or I need to call her, or I need to do this. You know what? Surrender. Let it go. We don't need to like everyone, and I know this may come as a shock, but not everyone likes us. And that's just the way the world works. That's just the way the world revolves. That is life. And sometimes when you realize that, it's just so freeing. It's kind of like, Sometimes you do things, <laughs> you volunteer, you help out, you you do all this stuff, and the reason that you're doing it is because you want people to like you. And those same people may not ever like you. And in the meanwhile, you are busting your butt and getting yourself all frustrated. And my border's kind of crooked over here, but whatever. I'm going to surrender to my page and let it go the way it's going to go. You know, sometimes you just got to let it go. Live your life. Be happy. Be true to yourself. Don't force things is basically what this message is. Don't force relationships. Don't force your body to do something it, it's not wanting to do. When it comes up to labor, we always tell women, you know what, your body's going to have this baby Regardless, so you force, like you trying to struggle against it and being afraid of the process, it's still going to happen. So the sooner you just relax and surrender to the process, it's so much easier on you. So, 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 so much easier. Whether you have a medicated birth or a non-medicated birth, it doesn't matter. Just accepting the process and accepting that everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And if it isn't okay, everything works out the way it's supposed to. That's more the message. It's just going to be the way it is. So, yeah, I surrendered that day. And, man, did I have a good sleep. And part of it was because I, in my head, I don't know if you guys have ever done that when you're resting, but your mind is going like crazy. Oh, I should be getting up. I feel guilty about lying here. And it just got to the point where I couldn't fight it. So I just stayed there. And at 2 p.m. I woke up, had something to eat. We got up. We were going to have um, lunch. We were originally going to have lunch at the mall. But we ended up having supper at the mall. So it was the same thing. My husband and my mom were so flexible and kind about me messing up their whole day. And it just worked out really well. Now, my surrender word is kind of big. So, I think I might have to put it kind of... I'll figure this out. Need some scissors. This tape is really, really cool. Very neat stuff. It's just kind of like... I can't describe it. It's, like, it's athletic tape, I guess. But it's like fabric, but... It's sticky on the back, but I'm going to add some ATG uh, tape anyway because it doesn't feel as sticky as I think I want it to be. If it sticks to itself, it's awesome. See, I'm creating a little bit of a one of those banners so that it kind of looks like a plane flew by and said, Surrender! <laughs> I'm silly, I know. Maybe if I kind of buckle it a bit. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm not sure if you guys saw how I did this. I saw someone else do this in a video, and I thought, oh, so.
so simple. So I'm just making sure this edge is straight first. Okay, so then you find the middle point between the distance here, and you just put a little nick there. And then you go from this corner right to that middle point, and then from this corner to that middle point, and you should have an even little notch at the end of your banner. Sort of like that. The other side worked out better. See? Very cute. So I'm going to let a little bit of it... Whoops. I'm going to let a little bit of it run over the edge of the page here on the left. Just a bit. And I'm going to fill up some of that space. See? Oh, it does stick pretty good. And I think I'll just add a little bit of a crinkly... So you can still read the word surrender. And some of it can go on to that side. Doesn't matter. Surrender. So remember to surrender, people. If you can't do something, let it go. If it, you have to force it, then you it, it's not meant to be. I just put the date there because it kind of filled in my page. But I really kind of like just the open breeziness of this page. Like these hot air balloons are just kind of floating in space, going where the wind's going to take them, and just surrendering to the beauty of the day. So I hope you all have a beautiful, creative day, and we'll see you next time. Bye!